October 2nd, 2008, and we are at the uh, Pure Aqua Incorporated headquarters in Santa Ana, California, United States of America. And workers are putting the fi uh, finishing touches on three 2,000 cubic meter per day systems uh, that are to be shipped tomorrow to Dubai. And as we move in a little bit closer, we can uh, talk about one of the systems, and, and each is the same, so the features that we talk about in this one system are going to be representative of, of all three systems. You can see that the system has 18 8-inch diameter pressure vessels manufactured by Codeline, Pentair, uh, United States. And the system is controlled by a Siemens brand PLC with a color touch panel screen that you see here. The pump on this system is from the, the Grunfro C CRN series. And the high pressure piping is electro-polished stainless steel. The membrane elements of the system will be manufactured or are manufactured by Hydronautics in Oceanside, California, only about 60 miles south of our location here in Santa Ana, California. And the model is an ESPA-4. And each vessel will have seven ESPA-4 membrane elements from Hydronautics. And with 18 pressure vessels, each housing 16 membrane elements, that will be a total of 126 membrane elements in a 2-1 array uh, designed to produce, as I said, 2,000 cubic meters per day from a reclaimed water feed after pretreatment by MBR. The design for recovery rate in the system is approximately 85%, meaning that uh, for every 100 gallons of the, of the feed water, we expect to produce 85 gallons of reverse osmosis product. The systems, as I said, we're putting the finishing touches on them today. The systems are scheduled to ship tomorrow, October 3rd, and, uh, and they're shipping to Dubai, UAE. Uh, as you probably know, this is the inlet port here and the uh, electric uh, solenoid inlet valve followed closely by the chemical injection ports, of which there are three. We have anti-scalant injection in this port, pH adjustment in this port, and dechlorination in this third port. Uh, we, will, we will attach chemical dosing pumps to each of these ports, and the pumps are mounted atop, atop chemical drums that have the appropriate chemical inside, and then each one of these is dosed at, at uh, certain rates as dictated by the feed water and other conditions. Okay. The panel that I mentioned earlier, and again, it's a color touch control panel, and you can see all the components of the system uh, highlighted here uh, graphically and in color. And if I wanted to, to uh, change things or check things, I would simply touch the appropriate uh, component and it would bring up choices I might have to program or change the program of. Uh, the uh, computer itself, or the PLC itself, excuse me, is inside the panel here, obviously. And uh, as I said, it's a Siemens brand Somatic S. 7200 and included is an IP address here that makes it possible for one to troubleshoot or simply check on uh, uh, components or the or the functions of the of the controls via the internet and that's an internet IP address right there the level switch 
we wanted to show you also. This is an ultrasonic level switch that you see, product level switch, tank level switch rather. Uh, you can see that's connected to this graphic here on the touch panel. Uh, this this ultra, uh, ultrasonic uh, tank level switch will send a signal to the panel and it will be graphically displayed the level on the touch panel screen. Percent. And it reads a percent level. In fact, specifically it has product, water, storage tank, level, percent. <laughs> 